Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got a bunch of stuff to talk about, so let's just kick things right off with our first story. Players are continuing to find secret items within Modern Warfare Zombies that will likely turn out to be future DLC content within the mode. The latest of the secret items to be found and extracted is this. It's a legendary ether tool schematic. Currently the schematics for uncommon, rare, and the epic ether tool exist within the game, but the schematic for the legendary tier ether tool does not exist currently, except for some players it does. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything once extracted right now, but yeah, the legendary ether tool schematic is in the game. It's able to be picked up by some people. It will obviously be added as DLC in this game, probably beginning pretty soon in Season 1. But that's not the only new item players are finding in the past episodes of the Zombies News Update. We covered players finding the upcoming DLC locations and key cards for a fortress for Rainmaker, then yesterday we covered Keres, and today a player found a fortress key card for Dekaibi. So it'll essentially be another new zombie boss that we expect to be added sometime soon. So that brings us to a total of three new fortress locations locations that will likely be added into the map. My guess is probably not within Season 1, but probably over the entire course of the Modern Warfare Zombies life cycle. Alright, moving on to the second overall story of the day. If you're like me, going for the ray gun schematic, you just never got it after doing a bunch of tier 3 missions. Wait, no, oh, never mind, there, there it is, I got my ray gun schematic, woo! But if you're curious on how to unlock the rest of the schematics in the game, I know I was, a super helpful chart was released today showing the tier locations of all of the schematics in the game. And now while I have seen some discussions about the accuracy of this chart, generally from what I've seen, it tends to be correct. So if you're like me and want to unlock Speed Cola within this game, which I think is probably the best perk within Modern Warfare Zombies, it's likely that that Speed Cola schematic will only drop within Contract Rewards in the Tier 1 zone, with a perk like Juggernaut or PhD dropping within Tier 2, and Elemental Pop and Tombstone being dropped within Tier 3 rewards. So if there's a certain unlock from this list that you're missing, hopefully this will help you target the zone you need to be in in order to actually unlock lock it. As always, the sources for these stories is linked down in the description. Okay, next up, this is becoming a major problem within Modern Warfare Zombies. Yesterday, we saw players getting permadowned because of being in close proximity to a rappel line when they either use the mystery box or try to use the juggernaut care package, but uh, this one is a little bit more embarrassing. It's been happening since the game was launched, and right now, there's only one known fix for it. Okay, to start, let me show you where it's located with a few brave souls that have filmed their own destruction. The location is in the cabin of one of the cranes near the tier 2 pack-a-punch spawn. A lot of players gravitate to this location because they saw players jumping off of it in the initial gameplay trailer. Just be warned, if you mantle forward on top of the controls inside the crane control room, you will be stuck there forever. You can't leave, you can't get downed. There's posts all over Twitter and the COD Zombies Reddit of unsuspecting players getting stuck up here, and unfortunately there was no saving these guys. Currently, if you or your friends get stuck in this scenario, there's only one guaranteed method to get out. As demonstrated by Teddy Riffick, using the Casimir device and then trying to hop into the portal in order to get it to teleport you is the only way to get out of this bug. So if you find yourself in this scenario for whatever reason, even after you watch this video, or one of your friends do, the only way to get yourself or them out is to get a Casimir device and throw it right in front of them so they teleport to a different location. And hopefully Treyarch will be made aware of this and fix it soon before any more of our fellow Zombies players have to spend the rest of their natural lives as a crane operator. But that wraps up the news today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hey, consider leaving a like on the vid. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. If there is a specific schematic you're going for, definitely let me know down in the comments. Of course, mine is Speed Cola. I'd love to know yours. But I want to thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies news video tomorrow. Peace!